34 million pounds every single day, 10 billion pounds a year, and I say that is too much, and we should spend that money here in our own country on our own people. You know what I'd like to do with the 10 billion? I would like that 10 billion to be spent helping the communities in Britain that your government damaged so badly by opening up the doors. Sure. The 350 million pounds a week we send to the EU, which we will no longer send to the EU, can you guarantee that's going to go to the NHS? No, I can't, and I, and I would never have made that claim. That was one of the mistakes I think, think that, that the Leave campaign made. Exactly, Norway, obviously. We're, we're a very different country. We're 65 right. million rather than 5 million. It means free movement of people. It means free movement of labour. It doesn't mean EU citizenship but, with all but, the acquired this, rights. I'm sorry, we've just been through three hmm. months of agony well, on the issue of immigration. On, this is the third is trade. Trade will take much longer. Trade is much the... It's not the most difficult, the most difficult is the nasty British short first one. The second one, the framework negotiation, is in my view much the most important. And I think being clear about where the framework is going is crucial to a success in the third one, the trade negotiation. Do I think that all that can be done in two years? I don't know. The first bit can be. Second bit, uh, uh, trade certainly can't. Uh, the second bit, uh, possibly. Do I think it's impossible to extend the, uh, the two years? No. Uh, it, it's assumed now that uh, we come under negotiating pressure as the two-year deadline comes to an end. I don't see that. Uh, I would like the British, for their, for their part, to act as soon as possible. I noted even talked with him that the British Prime Minister said he would leave sending the divorce letter to Brussels to his successor in October. I would have liked this letter directly. The British made it clear yesterday, crystal clear, as the British say, that they want to leave. So this is the problem. As the Chancellor Philip Hammond has said, it's very, very important to get access to European markets, particularly for the banking sector, the finance sector, but many others as well. And you may have to do trades in terms of the amount of people you allow in from the EU. It might not be quite an end to free movement of people if you want full access to those markets. Are you prepared to do those trades? Well, uh, what I'm very clear about is that we need to take some time to prepare uh, the position that we want to take as, a, as the United Kingdom. That's why I've said that we won't trigger this Article 50 that starts the formal negotiation process mm -hmm. with the EU before the end of, uh, before the end of this year.